Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building Amtrak number 100 here, which is one of their P42 DCs painted up in a special 50th anniversary paint scheme here. And I would like to note this is supposed to be dark blue with a darker blue on top, but since we don't have those colors in Minecraft, we are using polished blackstone up here to get the look right. But before we get started, I would like to note that YouTube's telling me 85% of the people watching these videos are not subscribed. So if you get anything at all, any kind of enjoyment out of these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our awesome tutorials or rail fanning adventures. It would help the channel out greatly. Thank you very much. And now, let's get right into the build. So we're going to start off with the rear coupler. So take out a dark oak stair and we'll attach that up and under it, a sideways dark oak pen skin. Then on the next block forward, we're gonna take out polished deep slate stairs, and we need five coming across the bottom, facing backwards. And then above that, we're gonna put five more polished deep slate stairs facing backward, except this time, they all need to be upside down. Then we're gonna come down above the rail, then we're going to open a fence gate above each of the rails here. Then we're going to put two lightning rods here and two here. Then we'll come in front of this on bottom and do the rear truck. So on bottom in front of this, we're going to put a fence gate on each rail. Then in front of that, I do the right wheel on each rail. And in the middle, a black stone brick block, black stone brick slab, a fence gate, a slab and a block. Then we'll put another eight wheel here and here and a fence gate on either end of these wheels. In the gap between the wheels here we're going to put three sideways lightning rods above each rail. Then we'll go through and put a hopper on the side of all four of these wheels. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing on this side, one on each of these two hoppers here. Now we're gonna take polished deep slate blocks out on this second layer and extend it forward up the middle here. And we're actually gonna make that three blocks wide in the middle here. And then we'll extend it out one block past these fence gates on bottom. And once you're one block past the fence gates, we're gonna come on the block in front of this. And we need to have polished deep slate slabs. And we're gonna go on the upper hit box of the bottom layer. And once we have a slab on that upper hitbox, we're gonna turn this into a five by three of slabs. So it comes out to each side of the tracks here. Then we'll do a three by three of polished deep slate on the top middle. And on each side, we're gonna do three sideways observers. Just like that. Then we're going to come on the upper hitbox of that bottom layer again, skip one block forward so there's a gap of space, and go three wide with slabs again. And we're going to extend these slabs forward on that upper hitbox of the bottom until they're 11 blocks long. So a 3 by 11 here. Then once we have that 3 by 11 of slabs on the bottom, we'll take polished deep slate block on the second layer come back here and fill this all in three wide with polished deep slate block and bring it forward. And up here, we're going to come one block past the slabs. Then underneath where it's sticking out of the slabs, on the bottom under here, we're going to put three sideways grindstones, like that. Then we'll put the air tanks on. So we're going to come on the side here, and we're going to start at the back of this slab section right here and do six polished deep slate walls coming forward and then a dark oak bed skate. Copy it on this side, so start on this back slab, do six walls and a dark oak bed skate. Then we'll take polished deep slate stair in front of this observer and upside down backward facing stair on each side. Then we're gonna come up to the front of this here, still with our polished deep slate stairs 
and we're going to put an upside down forward facing stair on the top here and here. Then across the second layer between the stairs, a full row of polished deep slate blocks right here. And same thing on this side, a full row of polished deep slate blocks across here. Now coming in front of this on bottom, we're going to skip one block forward from these grindstones so there's a gap of space and do a fence gate on each rail. Then in front of that in the center, a black stone brick block, a black stone brick slab, a fence gate, a slab, and a block. Then take out netherite for the wheels, and we'll do one here and here. Same thing on this side. Then put a fence gate on the end of these two wheels, and then three horizontal lightning rods above each rail in the gap between the wheels. Then come through and put a hopper on the side of all four of these front wheels. And then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, one on each of these two hoppers. Then we'll come up top on the second layer again and go three wide with polished deep slate block right down the middle until you're above these fence gates here. Then up here on the second layer, we're gonna go five wide with polished deep slate block. And then in this corner, we're gonna put an upside down polished deep slate stair facing backwards here and here. Then we're gonna come underneath the very front and an upside down stair backwards here. So it looks like that. And then one over in this corner facing backwards upside down here. Then in front of it, we're going to put an upside down outward facing polished deep slate stair on either side and three forward facing right side up stairs on the bottom middle. Above it, five upside down stairs facing forward. Then take a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block. Under it, we'll put a fence gate. Then open a fence gate above each rail. Then we're going to put two lightning rods here and two right here. Next, we're going to take out a brewing stand here, and we're going to come up on the second layer, right in front of here, and put a brewing stand here, and one on this side. Then across this, we'll do polished deep slate slabs on the upper hitbox, come to the back and do the same thing, a row of slabs across here. Then we need to do it on the other side as well. So on the upper hit box, a row of polished deep slate slabs across here. They come up front, and a row of slabs across here. And then, there's a small red pinstripe across the side on this. And since we can't really fit it, we're going to use mangrove sides to represent that. So we're going to take out mangrove sides, and this is going to be tedious. But start on the side of the front here, and just start putting a blank mangrove side coming all the way across this level. We're going to skip where the brewing stand is, and then continue with our sides down this middle section. And we're also going to skip these three observers and then come behind it and bring them right down to the rear end here. And then we're going to repeat the exact same process on the other side with our mangrove sides. So just do the same thing on this side here. Now we're going to come on top of the front in the middle and do two rows of three blue concrete. Then two blue stained glass pane on either side. Then we'll come behind the stained glass panes and we're going to put two blue concrete here and two here. Then on top of this go to polish black stone block. We'll do five across here, three on this front middle, and then a black stained glass pane in each of the top corners. Then up here, we'll do a black stained glass pane on either side, three polished black stone in the middle, three black stained glass panes on this front middle. Then we're gonna swing around behind this here. 
and we'll do three blue concrete on either side like this. And then a polished black stone block on the top of each side. Then we're going to come up bottom behind this. And we're going to come back with blue concrete, four log, and then make it three high. Same thing over here, a four by three blue concrete. And actually on the top of each side, we'll add another four blue concrete like this. Then we're going to come on these three polished black stone on the middle here. In the middle, put a black stained glass pane. Then a light gray stained glass pane on either side. Behind it in the middle, a polished black stone block. Then two light gray stained glass blocks on either side of that. So two here and two here. Then we'll add another light gray stained glass pane on this corner here and here. Then behind the window on each side, a polished black stone block. And then one at the back of each side. Then two light gray stained glass panes here and here. Then a white stained glass pane here for a mirror. And one on this side. Then we'll come behind this on bottom and take out dark prismarine stairs. And right here we're going to do a column of three upside down stairs and then a door. Do the same thing on this side, three upside down stairs and then a door. Now we're going to come down to the rear end here, put a door on the center block, a two by two of blue concrete on either side. Then two blue concrete on either side again, and a netherite above the door, and finally four blue concrete across the top. Then we'll swing around in front of it on the side, put a door here, and a door here. Then on either side in front of the door, we're going to do a two by two of blue concrete. In front of that, we're going to do two rows of three deep slate tile walls. And same thing on this side. Then a column of two blue concrete on each side. And then another two rows of three deep slate tile walls on either side. In front of this, we'll go two high with blue concrete. And we're going to bring it all the way forward, two blocks tall, all the way till it meets up at the front behind these stairs here. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Fill this whole side in two blocks tall with blue concrete and bring it down to the back here. Then above this, start at the back and we'll go another two layers of blue concrete and bring it all the way forward across the top to the front. Right up to here. And then of course we'll do the same thing on this side, start here and do another two layers of blue concrete across the top and we'll bring that all the way down to the back here. Then we're going to take out iron bars and we're going to come out the side where this door is and put a column of four iron bars on either side of this door. Then we'll come to this back door. And we're actually going to knock off this side and this side and put two iron bars on either side of this door. Repeat that on this side. So take off this side and this one. Two iron bars on either side. And finally come up to this front door and do a column of four iron bars on either side of this one. Now come on top behind the door and do a polished blackstone block. Then skip two in a block. Skip two in a block. Skip two in a block. On this far side, fill it all with two deep slate tile walls each. On this side, on the front one, we're going to put two stone brick stairs facing each other. And then fill the other two gaps, both with two deep slate tile walls each. So two here and two here. Then we're going to come in front of where those vents are on the bottom, just one block in front of it. And we're going to put a single deep slate tile wall here and on this side. And then we're going to fill the rest of this top layer with polished black stone block on each side. And we'll bring it right down to the back and across the back and back up this side here. Now come on top of the very back and do two rows of three polished black stone slabs in the middle up here. Then a slab on each side and a block in the middle. 
then a block on each side, leave the middle open, then a slab on each side and a block in the middle again. Come in here and fill this hole with an oak trapdoor. Then we'll do two rows of three polished black stone slabs in the center in front of it. Then in front of this we're going to do three forward facing polished black stone stairs, turn to the side, two facing inward, turn this way, two across here, and then close it off and put a smoker in the middle for the exhaust. Then in front of that, we're going to go three wide in the middle with polished black stone slabs again, and we'll extend that forward so it's six blocks long, so a three by six. In front of this, we're going to come one hitbox down on this side and put two here. And this is where the horn goes, so we're going to put a fence gate here and open one in front of it. Then over here, go up a hitbox and a two by two of slabs here. Then we'll come up front and start working from the front with our slabs. We're going to come on top of this windshield and put three slabs across here, another row of three. Then two on this side right here. Come over here and put two polished black stone stairs going this way and two slabs here. Then behind it we'll just fill all the rest of this, three wide in the middle with polished black stone slabs and bring it back until it meets up back here and the whole roof is filled in here. Then we're going to take out black carpet and we're going to come out this top outside edge and start right here. And we're just going to do a full line of black carpet coming across this top outside edge. And we're going to bring that all the way down to the back. And then we'll do this side. So start at the back with black carpet on this top outside edge. And we'll bring it forward all the way up to the front. And we'll come right up until we're over this front windshield here. Now we'll detail the front, so come up here, and we're going to put a warm button on either side like this, and then above each one, a glow item frame with a frog light. Above that, a glow item frame with a frog light in the middle, and a mangrove button on either side of that. Then above that in the center, we're going to do a dark oak side with 100. Hit that with white dye and a glowing sack. And then we'll come down in detail the rear end. So back here, we're going to come down here and put two warp buttons on either side of the bottom. Then in the middle up here, a glow item frame with a frog light. And on each side of the top of the, we're going to put a mangrove button and then under it, a warp side with a hundred on each side. Then hit both of those with white dye and a glow ink sack each. Now we need to make some banners, so we're going to come into a loom with a blue banner and white dye. We're going to put a horizontal on the top and middle. New banner and do one with three horizontal stripes. New banner and we're going to put a vertical in the middle. New banner, we're going to do a vertical on each side, then a horizontal on the top and bottom. Then go to blue dye and put a blue border around this zero and around this one. Then we'll do a blue banner in yellow dye. Do a diagonal, a horizontal on top and bottom. New banner, a vertical on either side, and a horizontal on top and bottom. Then go back to blue dye and put a blue border around the two yellow banners. And I will come place these. The stripe ones are for the Amtrak logo, so we're going to come right behind the door and the iron bars here and we're going to do a pattern of these banners like this so it's kind of like a t-shape then we're going to move to the top right behind it and do 50 with the yellow banners and then we're going to repeat that on the other side so come over here on bottom behind the iron bars and do this pattern with your stripe banners then behind it move up to the top and do 50 with the yellow banners then we're going to do the number on the back, so we're going to come on top back here. And right here, we're going to use the white banners to put the number 100. And then same thing on this side. Right here, put the number 100. Just like that. 
Now we're gonna come up here, start here, knock out a line of five, and fill it with white concrete. Under it, move one block over, knock out five, fill it with red concrete. Under it, move one block over again, knock out another five, and fill it with white concrete. So it looks like this. Then, we're gonna have to do it on the other side. So we'll come over here. On this side, we're gonna start right here, knock out five, put in white concrete. Under it, move one block over, knock out five, put in red concrete. Under it, move one block over again, knock out another five, and put in white concrete. Then we have one more banner to make, so we're gonna come into a loom again with a blue banner and white dye, and we're just gonna put one horizontal stripe on the top. And then we'll come place this. So we're gonna come up on the very front, put one on the middle right here. Then on the side, we're gonna do one here, one here, three up here. Behind this, we'll do three right here, then two here, then start right here and come across to these banners. And finally two here. Then we'll do the other side. So we'll put two here, then come across this, then skip in front of this, three here, three here, three here, and finally one here and one here. And now our white stripe is on. Now come down here, put an item frame here, and one here, because there's a little flag on the side. Come into a loom with a white banner and red dye, put these stripes on, go to blue dye and make the top right corner blue. Then we're gonna put this on the item frame here, and we're gonna turn it so it's this way. Do the same thing on this side, put it on the item frame here, and turn it so it's this way. Now we'll do the interior, so come on inside with smooth sandstone slabs and put a row across between these doors and a row of slabs behind the doors. Then come in front of it and fill this whole floor into the front with slabs here. Under this front window, a row of double slabs and then slabs across here for the control desk, a lever on the right, two glow item frames with egg crystals. Turn around and we're gonna put a stair on each side for some seats. Back here we'll put two blast furnaces in the middle, a column of slabs on this right hand side, and a door on this side. Then come through this door here, and right here, in front of the door, use smooth sandstone stairs to make a staircase coming down to the bottom. Over here we're gonna fill this with two rows of three smooth sandstone blocks and just bring that all the way up to the top. Behind it, skip one block over and do two columns of smooth sandstone blocks to the top right here. Then in here, an end portal and a torch. Then a door here. It's smooth sandstone blocks above it. Then a torch over here. Then a door here. And fill in with smooth sandstone above that. Then we're going to take mud brick stairs upside down and we need to be facing into this wall and do a line of four over here. Then four going this way in front of it here and then on top we'll do right side up stairs four long and back to back. Then go to mud brick block do two here, two here then another two here and two here and then align across this top metal like this. Behind this, we'll do two columns of smooth sandstone block coming up and go from the floor up to the ceiling right here. Then behind this in the middle, a line of nine sideways anvils coming back. Above the anvils, do a line of netherite blocks. Then we're gonna come through and put a polished blackstone button on the side of each netherite block. Do the same thing over here. So a button on each netherite block over here. Then above the netherite, we're going to do another line of sideways anvils up here. Then, 
up of this layer. We'll do another line of netherite blocks. So it looks like that. And then we're going to come on top of this and do a full line of polished deep slate walls across the top. Then we're going to come on bottom behind this and we're going to do two sideways end runs and then another two. Behind this we'll do three smooth stone blocks then a two by two up here. Then we're going to take out brewing stands and we're going to put a column of two brewing stands here. Then up here, a 2x2 two two of polished deep slate walls, then one wall here, and a hopper here. And now the interior is all completed. So there we have it folks. We've completed Amtrak 100, the 50th anniversary P42DC locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.